We'll see what sort of DI they bring to the table. Yeah, Daniels has some really great combos. I'm excited to watch this game. Um, yeah, so Daniels is going to be the blue hat and Phil's the red hat. Well, if Daniels has blue hat, then he does have the tier advantage. <laughs> I like both of them a lot. Yeah, and uh, a, a second ago, you, you did... Oh, I think that's the hurtback set. Oh, wow. One of, one of the best things about Pikachu's up tilt in my mind is the hurtbox shift because only his butt is vulnerable. His tail has no has no hitbox. No hurtbox, you mean? So it's he, all hitbox. Yeah. So you need to get through the tail to the butt if you want to be there. Wow. And like I can say, as a Link main, that's hard. It is it is wow. empirically the case that Pikachu's tail is stronger than a sword. P Pikachu's tail will beat Link's sword in many different uh, situations. Well, you know that Pikachu, of course, has learned Iron Tail. That's why. Iron Tail wasn't even a move when this game came Chill, out. Chill, bro. This game came out before Gen no, 2 no, no. was released. It, it was um, a part of the manga, though, so it was a move set. Okay. Regardless, and it's also in the Pokemon cards. So from here, a rinse and repeat back throw. Uh, okay, up tilt. Yes, that is what I consider to be the Daniels. That uh, reverse up air into the bear. He's really good at just figuring out how those hitboxes line up. Oh, and of course, All right. second place grab. So I, I gotta I gotta shout out another NorCal player, Mortek, right quick, who is also sponsored by Backthrow. <laughs> Do they pay well? Uh, it it serves them pretty well in games. Pays in salt. Yeah. Oh, great. I, you're right. That, was, that up tilt so good to just counter any approach from the ground. And some from the air. And that's the thing. It's such a strong tool. Like, the only time Pikachu really has to worry about it is when he's fighting another Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah, it's combo breaker. It's uh, combo starter. The fact they could do both is nuts. Yeah, it's very strong. And then he has the up air, which is an up tilt in the air. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That, like, hitbox uh, confirmation is it's so extremely cool. strong. And, and as you see right there, it is one of Pikachu's most potent combo tools. Especially against Pikachu. Like, up, up air and neutral air will both combo Pikachu extremely hard. Yes. Um, back air we see is really good to send them farther off stage. Oh, let's see the reaction the on this! common finisher. Okay. Yeah, at that percent, he doesn't have many follow up Yeah, options. he didn't have a, a good finisher there. What a read! He yeah, went really smart. way high and he nice, got it a second one. time. Oh, he just faced. Yeah, he had the read, but he missed it. Oh, nice. That'll turn the tables. Using a forward air to bait out a forward air. Sets up that grab back throw. That is the Pika Ditto. That is the 64 classic. Is so classic. And then just sort of straight hit back air. Also a classic well, in the Daniels matchup. Daniels unfortunately put himself in the corner during the invincibility. Like, it's one thing to be in the corner and slide, trying to move around, but it's really tough when you um, are really trapped on that platform. Can't really go off stage or higher up. Late DI behind on the forward air. That's a classic. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, they, they both fell into each other's grab hole. Yeah, they both, uh... They, they both went for it, and it was exactly wrong for both of them. Uh -oh, oh, he no took the jump. jump. And that read is gonna set up another. And this is one last shot for Daniels. Oh! Wow! And he managed Phil to freeze his barely butt. Yeah. Phil's still got him on the ropes. Okay, and that'll be... Oh, not yeah, quite. Yeah, he's not dead yet. That ought now to be Now he is, yeah. Yeah, so Phil just keeping a very clear head. <laughs> You can see he's completely stone-faced. Yeah. Daniels, he's, just, he's just sitting down and doing what he does. Daniel's a, a good guy. Um, I saw he posted a tweet yesterday that he forced uh, someone to pull. I can't remember the name. And he just, you know, re le leaned over and he goes, hey, you just take a deep breath and, you know, you got this. Yeah. And then he lost the next two. <laughs> <laughs> like, what a good guy. <laughs> to literally go to guy into your own loss. So, I, I can say that, that just as a general word of advice, that is... A very that is a somewhat risky thing to do, because if you're feeling salty and your opponent is telling you to calm down, that can have that can backfire pretty badly. Yeah, but when you're coaching a homie, it's kind of just like you know, it's not a big deal. It's not a difference maker. But yeah, if you're I, coaching I, I, a it homie. was a difference maker clearly. <laughs> um, yeah, Daniels though. I'll be curious to see the adaptation. He's getting coached by uh, Soto here. Um, so sort of Kirby player, but definitely strong against Pikachu. Mm -hmm. um, Phil doesn't need it. Phil's looking stylish. He was on commentary <laughs> earlier. Um, Is that why he's all dolled up? Well, maybe he's all dolled up for you. Or you, the folks at home. Yeah, I'm... Well, if he's doing commentary, he definitely was. Exactly. <laughs> like, that's literally the reason. 
All right, so here we are. Daniels with some soda knowledge under his belt. We'll see if it helps. Down smash to start the, the set. That is not something I've seen before. No. Oh, let's go. Starting a tech chase. This is a dash to follow up, so... But it's alright, Daniels is still holding center stage. Okay. Oh, space around the down air with an up air. Yeah. Oh, he overextended on that, uh, Daniels. Well, he did oh. get the fastball to follow up with the But he managed to zip zap to lay. Yeah, a back air neutral. into an edge guard. Yeah, yep. Phil opting not uh, not for a, a, uh, a carry combo, but just to hit him with the back air and do the edge guard. He's been getting a lot of reads on Daniels. Well, on Daniels recovery in particular. Yes. And that's, that's where it really it. matters. Oh, oh! It looked like he had the right angle, but he must have been just low. Yeah, I think he went horizontal and he did a slight up diagonal. Oh no, he got that push off. So, I, what? Yeah, after these first couple of stray hits, that's when Pikachu... Great DI! Is. That DI on the forward air was so important to go up and uh, away, so that way Daniels was able to follow it up. And that's like the slight difference makers that we're gonna see. Nice! Alright, so Daniels up. Yeah, that Soto knowledge looks like it's coming in handy. I was gonna get off ledge. That rising fair, but low percent didn't quite get it. Oh, oh. On stage. and Again, of course, up tilt beats, gra no beats grab there. At that spacing, at least. Wow, it's neutral. And he still gets oh the DI. Oh no. And another back air. I want to know if that was low percent or just a crouch cancel. It could have been either. I think it was just low percent, but I'm not positive. Right, so at this percent, this sort of 20-30% that Phil is at, is probably the most dangerous percentage for uh, for Pikachu. Oh, Dick, please! Oh, Daniels with that jab grab on a media tech. Yeah, and now Daniels has that 20-30%. Uh, that was such smart drift away! Totally missed that uh, back air and got a grab back throw. And he needs to finish off this edge guard, and he does! Oh man, Force Smash stays out for so long. It takes so long to like come out, and then it stays out for so long. Yeah, it's too. worth it. Oh, it for sure is. In that position, it's really smart. And Great another read. read on the up B. And yeah, that one doesn't quite, it doesn't quite make it. So Daniels is on a potentially pivotal last stop. Tech play? Oh! Okay. Tech chase. Flubbed a little bit, but still managed to get the grab. No! Okay. <laughs> Weird model interaction there. Oh, that read. Oh, that sits up high. Oh, he lands on the platform. I don't think he wanted to do that. I don't think so either. He oh, could have up with another upper otherwise. Wow, that was a great box trot. That'll do Kinda it. Kind of stay in place. So that fit of a dash forward. Oh, smart. Yeah, and it took him game two. So now we are going to a final game in the set. Yeah, this is exciting. This is a good Pikachu ditto. All right, we're getting some coaching, and Horby's coming up, huh? Oh. I guess maybe that's an East Coast thing? I guess. I, I think it's just, in general, hominess kind of just transcends, you know, <laughs> New England or Tri-State or Florida. It's a great thing about yeah, Smash 64. It's a, it's a good community. That's, that's definitely been my experience. Yeah, no, I've only had good experiences. Yeah, so if only we could organize a few a few more frequent like events more frequently in Chicago. Yeah. I, I know that Maps is struggling. Shout outs to him. <laughs> Shout outs to you, Maps. Yeah, Shout outs to all you guys pulling your um, local scene for sixty four. It helps a lot. Yeah. And, and and while we're on it, let me just take this opportunity to give a major shout out to my man Dunks. Yeah. Who, who has always gone out of his way to include me in 64 stuff here in NorCal. Yeah, e I, even when yeah. I, even now that I'm in Chicago, he's gone out of his way to make sure that I'm included in 64 stuff here in NorCal. That's a true hominess. I got to meet him at the Foundry on Wednesday. Definitely a really great guy. And they're saying that's a minute. Dark Horse is saying that's a minute. Putting down the iron fist of the timer. Yeah, making sure that, that we are keeping the tournament running on schedule. Time's up! So shout outs to Dark Horse. Yeah, shout outs to Dark Horse. Without him, we could have been sitting here all day. Commentator of the year. Community leader of the year. Pikachu Ditto of Genesis 5? Who knows? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm, I'm betting that there are going to be more more Pikachu Dittos after this. We'll probably have uh, a more Don't significant count out. When Pikachu, impact on the tournament's when legacy. When Pikachu are at a uh, similar level, we can see some hype stuff. Unfortunate to miss that zap there. So Phil with an early lead in, in part two. Good DI here. from Daniels. And good DI as well. Man, the... Forward air is not being nearly as powerful as it can be. 
Well, I, I think that really these Pikachus are, are just showing that uh, forward air's limitations. It is very easily oh, no. DI-able. Oh, it's the second, missed, uh, the second part of the zip zap. Yeah, that's, uh, that's twice this game. I mean, that's not an unforced error, it's a forced error, but it, it still is tough to watch. Because yeah. you know, I mean, we saw game two, we know what Daniels is capable of. Yeah, but so when you're at a deficit, it's so hard to bring it back. In this matchup in particular. So Daniels does need to get something started here. Yeah, he's going to want a back throw. Perfect, by the edge, it's going to be just enough to close it out. Alright, so now at about this percent, oh. is one of the most dangerous uh, percents for Pikachu because it can lead uh, to big combos. At 0%, Pikachu doesn't have that many combo starters, so it's not until you see a few stray hits that you start to see the really powerful uh, combos carrying people all the way to the light. Phil closed that stock out because he DI'd a forward air, uh, and, and up and away, and then got the double jump to get out. I mean, I can't stress how important that is. <sighs> Did he get DI stabbed the and then grab? I think so. He got jabbed and then grabbed off of it. Daniels with a jab to get grabbed, is that the new tech? I hope not. <laughs> okay, dealing with the platform is tough, that's not gonna kill yet. Recover high? Oh, weak back air, but didn't land. Yeah, so oh. he, that. he went high maybe looking for a down smash or a down tilt, mm -hmm. but you can cover oh, no! all those options. Oh, okay. When you oh, wow. hit an invincible player, that's just the worst way to start out a stock that you need in oh. order to come back. Tell me about it. Oh no. Yeah, this is the situation that Phil's been putting into putting Daniels in all set. Phil's up tilts are so good and when another Daniels one. is trying to grab, and that's just no, that was just the theme of Phil. Yeah, Phil looking really good in game three. Yeah. After a close after a strong game one and a close game two, he was able to take it back to game one.